Plus, what you need to know this morning. Good morning here. I'm Bill Hemmer, and welcome to America's Newsroom. A whole different wrinkle yeah. in the story now. Morning. It sure is. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, everybody. I'm Martha McCallum. So the unidentified patient, now in isolation. The situation is said to be contained. He traveled here from Liberia. No, no. So what do you need to know about this Ebola virus? Our way for the next couple of hours. Ebola, ISIS, take your pick. Wide open today. Too bad there's nothing to talk about, right? Busy what a busy time. morning. Uh, and this for you as well this morning, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie calling out the president on his handling of the threat from ISIS. He takes issue specifically with the comments on 60 Minutes when he said, quote, they underestimated the threat of ISIS. Well, authorities now believe that the disappearance of UVA student Hannah Graham could be connected to a number of other unsolved cases. We're going to have that story for you coming up. Also, plaster. Looking forward to seeing the rest of that interview, too. I imagine we'll see him in Iowa soon, maybe, perhaps. Yep, yep, well, in his yep. role as the head of the Governor's Association, he's been all over the country uh, yeah, backing, true. backing uh, other candidates. So that, that makes so. that possible the as governor's well. The Governor's coming up next. All right, comedian Tracy Morgan is firing back after well, one of the world's deadliest diseases now. As we welcome you to a next hour here of America's Newsroom, I'm Martha McCall. And I'm Bill Hemmer. Good morning. Morning, Martha. Morning to everybody. Story, and I think, you know, obviously you want cooler heads to prevail in this situation, but I don't think anybody coming from any one of those countries would be, would find it objectionable or curious if they were tested and when, when they're entering this country. If you had, you know, a, an area or whether even if those flights were stopped mm -hmm. for a period of time until it looks like the situation yeah, is more under countries, control in the countries they're coming some from. Some airlines are doing that. We've been having this debate back and forth all yeah. morning as to how, what, what's the level of concern, what's appropriate, and what's not. As we move through it, we'll try and figure out what is and what is not. So a bizarre... So a U.S. Marine still being held in a Mexican jail after all these... So the controversy over the Washington Redskins takes a new turn... Well, did you see... The you taught him how um, to do that, didn't not, you? Not quite. You do that it's every weekend. Straight down. That's a pretty straight yes. drop, isn't it? Yes, it is. I think I'll pass. Only for the daring. <laughs> at the Hope Baptist Church in Newark, New Jersey, which was the site of Whitney Houston's funeral. And Pastor Carter, who spoke at that funeral, was there. So obviously that's an issue that is very near and dear to people there. And it is something that Governor Christie says uh, is going to be very front and center for him as he goes forward in terms of being a domestic issue. We've also got some new poll numbers on Governor Christie that just came out this morning. New Jersey voters giving him one of the lowest job approval. Look at the presidential numbers. You know, he was uh, much higher by uh, double digits at one point in terms of potential candidates and, and if he decides to go for it in this round and he said that he'll tell everybody after the first of the year um, he's going to have a, a crowded field and mm -hmm. and more difficult numbers at least at this stage of the game yeah, good interview thank you and i think january would be very interesting yeah hillary's going to say <laughs> right. in january as well so <laughs> we're going to learn quite a bit so in january the calendar will be crowded right okay sure eric sean's coming up with <laughs> these days huh right Glad they're working yeah get after it you know, I mean, anything that's outside of the classroom, we excel at. Yeah, that's what you get for your tuition. A big, fat pillow it's fight. A lot of down, folks. <laughs> During yeah, the broadcast. Got a lot of grief for it, Very too. interesting. We'll see where it goes. So we are moments away now from Prime Minister Ben. Coming to Prime back? Probably not. Probably not. Came in for a landing and did quite well, too. So eagle rah rah. We're going on the radio with Brian. Yep. Uh, because it's Wednesday, and that's, that's usually our Wednesday. therapy yep. session together. Exactly. And we're going to We'll talk it all that. out. And I'll see you tonight on O'Reilly. Bye, everybody. Have a good day.